Hi, in this video, we will discuss FEDRAM, the Federal Risk Authorization Management Program, what it is, what is the importance of FEDRAM, and what are the requirements to meet it. This discussion will be followed by some practice questions on this topic. Please subscribe to the channel and enable bell icon for the video notifications. The FEDRAMP is a program where the, uh, the US government wide, uh, you know, that delivers a standard approach to security assessment, authorization and the continuous monitoring for the cloud product and the services. Remember, this is not a law, but a framework which helps to ensure the authorizations are compliant with the FISMA, that is the Federal Information Security Management Act. So, uh, this, this program is basically uh, for the assessment um, authorization and the continuous monitoring for the cloud products and the services, especially for the US, US government uh, programs. Uh, where the cloud service providers, for example, Azure, uh, AWS or Google, who want to offer their cloud services to the US government, they must demonstrate the FedRAMP compliance. And the FedRAMP uses the NIST Special Publication 800 series that requires the cloud service providers to complete an independent security assessment that is conducted by a third party assessment organization. Remember, um, as I just, just mentioned that uh, for FedRAMP, the cloud service providers need to uh, get their infrastructure assessed by the independent, uh, you know, uh, the third party assessment organizations. This helps to ensure that the authorizations that are granted to those um, cloud service providers, these are compliant with FISMA, uh, Federal Information Security Management Act. So what is the importance for uh, the FedRAMP? It provides the consistency and confidence in the security of the cloud solutions. And of course, this maintains the, the transparency between US government and the cloud service providers. Continuous monitoring of the cloud services, adoption of the secure, uh, secure cloud solutions through the reuse of assessment and the authorizations. Certain requirements for the FedRAMP, the cloud service providers, um, for example, granted an agency authority to operate uh, AAO by the US federal agency. Um, also, the, the providers meets the FedRAMP security control requirements basis on the NIST 800-53 revision 4. That is the uh, security control baseline for moderate or high impact levels. Um, all requirement security packages must use the required FedRAMP templates. Uh, those are um, provided by the FedRAMP. Um, CSPs must, uh, must be assessed by an approved third party assessment organization. So uh, th there is a list of approved third party assessment organization. Um, only those can be used to uh, to assess the cloud service providers. The complete security assessment packages must be posted in the FedRAMP secure repository. This helps to review, this helps uh, uh, for the customers to, you know, uh, review the, uh, the assessment uh, reports of those CSPs. Let's take a look on some questions related to the FedRAMP. Um, this, this question is, is related to the uh, the data center, the US federal entities are required to use the cloud data centers within the border of uh, the United States only. Which law, standard or the requirement mandates this? So, um, we talked about the, the requirement. Remember, um, this is of course not a law, but uh, you just remember that um, this is a standard or the requirement which mandates that, uh, you know, this uh, US federal entities are required to use the data centers within the border of US only. So, FISMA is, um, is a federal law requiring the agencies to comply with NIST guidance, but the FedRAMP 
is uh, the standard that dictates the that the American federal agencies must retain their data within the boundaries of US, including the data within the data center. So option C and D, these are not related to the uh, American laws. So here the correct answer is FIDRAMP. Next one is which of the following dictates the requirement for the US uh, federal agencies operating in the cloud environment. Remember um, the, uh, the ISO is for the security controls. So this is not a specific to the US federal agencies. NIST is of course is uh, you know uh, this is this is one of the standard you know the guidance that is provided by NIST. Um, so this is not an option. ENISA, ENISA is the European um, security um, uh, guidance. They provide the guidance to the uh, in, in Europe. So we left with the uh, the FedRAMP. So this is the correct answer. So FedRAMP is for the U.S. federal agencies, and uh, which is the um, the U.S. program for federal entities operating in the cloud. Your organization is uh, considering a move to a cloud environment and, and, and is looking for the certifications or the cloud reports from the cloud providers to ensure the etiquette, security control and processes. Which of the following is not a security certification or audit report that would be pertinent? Uh, here uh, we talk about the security certification and uh, or uh, audit report. Now, uh, if we go back and recheck the question, your organization is considering a move to the cloud environment. So here we are talking about the cloud environment and looking for a certification or the audit report from the cloud providers. So providers are for responsible for the environment, right? Here, um, um, FedRAMP is for the environment. Right, so this is of course not the correct answer here. Remember, there is a not. Okay, so we need to we need to check the, these things very carefully in the question during the exam. What is not a security certification or audit report in the cloud environment? Okay, so different keywords and different uh, uh, magic words we need to find out in the entire question, and we need to make these combinations. Um, PCI DSS is again for the uh, for the environment for the infrastructure. PCI DSS is is not SOC type two is again for the infrastructure. So this is of course not a correct answer. FIPS is is just for uh, the crypto modules. This is the certification for the crypto module, not for not for the cloud environment or not for the infrastructure. This is not the certification for cloud environment. So certainly this is the correct answer here. Above and beyond the general regulations for the data privacy and the protection, certain type of data are subjected to, uh, to, to more rigorous regulations or oversight. Which of the following is not a regulatory framework for more sensitive or specialized, um, uh, specialized data? So if we if we go and check again in this question, um, um, this is again a framework for you know this is a regulation. Um, this is again a regulation. This is again a regulation. This is not right. So this is the correct answer. Okay, from answer perspective. Uh, option A is correct because this is not a regulatory framework for more sensitive or specialized data. While FedRAMP, PCI DSS for payment specific, HIPAA for health specific, FedRAMP for US federal uh, uh, companies. Okay, so correct answer is FIPS. With this, we conclude this video. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter or connect me on LinkedIn, KD Cyber Talks. Thanks for watching.